Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. Just been sat here for a few minutes on my bench. I'm just getting my little cheap tripod. Today, I'm going to be trying to dig up as much as I can and get rid of. I've got some comfy that I fetched from my allotment several years ago. And it has just been a nightmare. I've fetched it to make my own organic liquid compost. But I dug some uh, borders at the back deep. And I thought, right, I'll put the soil in the front because it needed it. I didn't want to bury it because it was really good soil. And unfortunately, it had little tiny bits of the root in there. So what that's happened is I've ended up with it spreading. You see here, these are clumpy leaves dried up. See there. See it here. I thought I'd dug this up back here, but come back there, right there, 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 and I think further up there as well. So, I'm going to dig it up this time of year, I'm thinking, get it dug up this time of year, anything I dig up with it, it'll have a chance to uh, be replanted, because it's early on in the season, so I'll show you, and I start to dig this big lump up here, this was next to some delphiniums, I don't know if they're still alive, we'll soon find out, so let's get cracking shall we, I'll show you here, Straight away. This is the problem you see. Just roots on like that. Oh, nice white there. I need to leave a tiny little bit in like that and you've got a new plant. So we will try and get underneath this. Just keep cracking. I'm digging up this time of year because I just want to show you this. This is a gorgeous, this is a delphinium. See that there? Beautiful white roots there. So what I should do with this, I'll put this on the lawn <coughs> and I'll show you what to do with that a bit later. So yeah, anything like that you want to put to one side. I've had them for several years. They're really nice flowers. Oh, wow. See this as well. So I've dug up this time of year. Actually got some lilies there, so I'll put them on one side. They need spraying. They've got some uh, some kind of damage, so I'll spray them with an insecticide. See the roots on this. This is like a tree root. So we'll put that there. And that is why they're so hard to get rid of. Just, uh, just give you some comparison. That's my hand. That's my hand. It's a spade. Look at the size of that thing. Wow. That will go. I might try and make some, well, I might try and make some liquid compost out of it, but yeah, look at those. Yeah, you only need tiny bits here, that bit is left in, and we'll get a plant off it, which is terrible. something you don't want. That eats into your plants as well. See that little thing there? Uh, to go it. Yep, oh, another lily there. Nice for shooter. All these be recycled. Uh, yeah, all the roots. Thing is as well the dark black the root so uh, Basically, that is that one. I doubt it. I doubt it very much. 
just found that one here, right up the edge. Let's put that on camera, just here. Get to the next one now. I'm just going to get this on here and show you the cover up against it. Get it around here. Excuse me for being out of breath. This is, as you can see here, these are wow, this is what I've dug up. Absolute big monsters. I mean, that's 12, 14 inches long. Three or four inches wide, and that's just one piece. And then if I just hit here, what happens is when you're digging it, it just splits like that. Like right, so you've got this bit on the end there, so it splits like that. You end up with that bit in. That bit is enough to regrow into another plant, which is an absolute nightmare. I would recommend if anybody's going to grow this, grow it in pots if you want to use it for anything like making your own organic uh, liquid cut, liquid feed. Please wait in pots because otherwise, or if you've got a bed that is away from your other plants, plant in there, or dig a pot into the ground. It's only got a few holes in the bottom. Do it like that. Because if you look at this, this is the main pot here. If you look at this, that is my hand. If you look, probably two inches across by four, two before something like that. It's just ridiculous. I would have. When I got this probably 10 years ago, if I'd have known how invasive and how hard it was to get rid of, I would not have planted it. I can tell you that now. There's no way I planted that. But saying that, I've got some good organic feed off it before, so it has helped me out. But I have still got a big piece there to get rid of, some down there. And I've got a few, few more bits here. So... I've got another hour or so to go, probably two hours work to go. And then I can get some forget me nots moved. And some of my fox glove moved. But that'll be another video for another day. I'd like to thank everybody for watching. Please keep safe. And as always, happy sewing, happy growing. Please subscribe and like. Thank you very much everybody. Please keep safe. Thank you. Bye.